Hey Nature Detectives, I'm Conrad. I'm an outdoor educator at Lechworth State Park and today I have a nature mystery for you. I'm looking at this little smudge right here. Now, this might be familiar territory for some of us. We can use a couple of our nature tools to figure out what this smudge is and what's just a little bit off about it, how that helps us every single day. We'll use two nature tools to do that, our eyes and our fingers. First nature clue, let's look at its size. It's about the same size-ish as my thumb. Now this is an absolutely massive sample of this nature mystery, but even so, it's not any longer than my thumb. Size is always an important nature clue. Second nature clue, let's feel the smudge. Ooh, it's very fuzzy wuzzy. Feels really soft, covered in tiny, tiny little hairs. This is just like a piece of felt. And the third nature clue, let's look where it is in general. This is on the side of a tree, a solid permanent object. It's not dangling on a leaf or attached to a tiny little stem or a plant that's going to wilt at the end of the summer. This is on a rock solid structure. It could be a tree. It could actually be a rock. It could be a house, could be a bench. These nature mysteries will always be attached to a solid structure. Let's put all those nature clues together. This is a nature mystery that's on a solid permanent object. It's really fuzzy wuzzy and it's about the same size as my thumb. This must be a disper moth egg mass. A lot of you already knew that this was a disper moth or gypsy moth egg mass. Disper moths are those little furry moths that destroyed a lot of the tree leaves during the May to June, maybe early July time. But then by August and early September, all those leaves had grown back. They're an invasive species from Europe that does a lot of damage to native trees. They don't necessarily kill the native trees, but they're not good for them. Multiple stressors can kill those trees and the disper moths don't help. But if we look more closely at this disper moth egg mass, there's something else going on. There are teeny, tiny little holes in this egg mass. And those holes are a sign that another living thing is taking full advantage of this bountiful feast of baby disper moths and is feeding on them and emerging into the world to go and find more. Those teeny tiny little holes are evidence that a parasitoid has been living inside these eggs. Now, keep in mind, this is a parasitoid, not a parasite. Very similar, but really importantly different. A parasitoid is an animal or a plant or a fungus that feeds on another living thing, and by the end of its feeding, it kills the host, the thing that it's eating. A parasite feeds on another living thing, but doesn't kill it. Think of like a tick or a tapeworm. Now around here, a very common parasitoid on disper moth egg masses are Cuvinae wasps. Cuvinae wasps have kind of a funny sounding name because they don't have a common name. They're only known by their scientific name, not like praying mantis or wolf spider. Those are common names. Cuvinae is a scientific name. It sounds fancy and it sounds a little strange, but they only have a scientific name because they're very rarely seen. Most people never interact with a Cuvinae wasp in their entire lives. That's because they're very, very small. They can't bite us. They can't sting us. So most people never even notice them. But Cuvinae wasps are a very important parasitoid on disper moth egg masses and some other invasive species because they come from Europe, which is the same place that disper moths originally come from, and they're specialized and very, very good at eating the baby caterpillars inside these eggs. Before they really start to develop into caterpillars and get ready to hatch in the spring, the Cuvinae wasp babies have already eaten some eggs out of this egg mass. A female disper moth will lay hundreds of eggs per egg mass, and a female Cuvinae wasp lays her own eggs on top of the disper moth eggs. Those tiny little Cuvinae wasp eggs hatch right away, and they eat the baby disper moth before it can even hatch. Now, disper moth eggs will winter over. These eggs won't hatch until the springtime, and the female Cuvinae wasps, who have already mated with males, are sleeping under the leaves, hiding, hibernating, and emerge in the springtime just in time to catch these disper moths starting to lay eggs again. 
if you really want to put your nature detective skills to the test, go try to find some Cuvenet wasp infected disper moth egg sacs in your neighborhood. It won't be very difficult to find them. Disper moths are absolutely everywhere. Just look on permanent solid structures. Unfortunately, it should be pretty easy to find them. Once you've found an egg mass, look very closely at it to see if there are those little pinholes. Well, thanks so much for joining me for today's nature mystery. If you have any questions about Cuvenet wasps or other parasitoids on invasive species in New York State, please put a comment in the comment section below the video. Share this video with your friends to put their nature detective skills to the test. And as always, follow Letchworth State Park on Instagram and like our Facebook page to stay tuned for more nature mysteries.